Hi, this is Nellie Deutsch and I'm on Moodle for Teachers, free online professional development courses for everyone who's interested in engaging their students in active learning, active listening, and improving their well-being. So everything is right here on Moodle for Teachers, action research projects for educators, postgraduate programs that are coming up, Moodle training, teaching with technology, professional development, and a lot more. I'm going to show you today how to log in to this amazing initiative. This is what you'll see when you're logged in to moodleforteachers.org. Next, you're going to go into where it says guest because you're automatically logged in as a guest. Click on log in top right. Notice you do not log in with a username or password. So I'm putting an X on this. You do not need a username or password ever. So don't worry about it. If you've forgotten it, you don't need it. What you're going to do is you're going to scroll down and you've got three options. One is to click on the Google icon. Second is to click on the Facebook or Microsoft. I suggest you log in every time with just one of these. Don't mix them up in case you have different emails for each. So let me show you how that's done using Microsoft. I'm going to click on the Microsoft icon, wait a few seconds, depending on my connection, of course, and then I'm prompted with all of these possibilities. I'm going to choose this one. Click on it, wait a few seconds, and I'm in. You can see my name at the top right. So let me log out and show you how I can use my other social networks. So I'm going to log out just for your viewing pleasure and then log back in. So if you don't have an account on Moodle for Teachers, that's fine. If you have an old account, that's fine. You create an account the first time and log in each time using one of these. I'm going to try Facebook now. Wait a few seconds. It's a good idea to have your Gmail or Facebook or Microsoft account open. Now notice what happened here. This is a glitch. Don't worry about it. It makes no difference. Ignore it because I'm in. And that's what's important. Okay, it's because I've been logging in and out. So it's kind of confusing, but don't worry about it. Just take a look at the top right. If uh, you see your name, you're logged in. All right, so next I'm going to click on Google so I can log in with one of my Google mails and I have a few of them and there I'm see you, you didn't see that right because it was so fast and that's how it's done next you're going to check out the free courses that are available right here so take a look at the list of courses you can also practice different things so let's see what you have right now and you're gonna have a lot more so there's Moodle for Teachers Online School there's an explanation about that there are five courses or five areas that you can go into. There are collaborative courses that participants have created. There is the Electronic Village Online, and there are courses there. Most of them are open for guests. Moodle for Teacher Learn to Teach Online. There are three courses here. One MOOC, which is the current Moodle MOOC 15 that's going to start on June 1st. And then there's Moodle Training. Okay, click on that for actually the Moodle MOOC is there. Here we've got a virtual world MOOC. And then there's practice tools, self-care and well-being, technology, teacher training. Uh, there's one course coming up, teaching English and webinars. So practice tools is an area where you can practice different things for free. Just to take a look and see, there's Jitsi. 
So you can go into the Jitsi course and practice how to use Jitsi. There are Moodle games that you can practice, Moodle quiz practice, Moodle H5P practice, Moodle Poodle practice, Congrea practice, Microsoft Teams practice, Big Blue Button practice, Wiz IQ practice, and there'll be more. So take a look at them and let me know if you have any questions. Subscribe, ring that bell so you get notified each time I create a video and as I said subscribe and join Moodle for Teachers it's really easy all you have to do is go to the top right login click on it open the login page scroll down on the right choose one of these icons and that's how you create an account and log in each time each time I hope this has been of help and um, and you join us on Moodle for Teachers free courses